All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta, build a palindrome checker project, user stories, number five. All right. So when the text input ID element only contains the letter A and the check button ID element is clicked, the result ID element should contain the text A is a palindrome. All right. So yeah, for this one, uh, we're going to have to make it to where when we say like the letter A in here and check it, it says A is, is a palindrome right here. So we're going to have to start off by saying an else if, since we already have this one if statement here. So if it's not this, all right, else if we're going to do something else. All right. So what do we want to do? Okay. Let's put this here. All right. Uh, we don't want to like go through the whole alphabet and say, is it A, is it B, is it C? You know, we don't want to do anything ridiculous like that. Uh, so what's an easy way to do this? Um, I say like this, check it out. If we do the text input value, all right? So whatever this is, dot length, all right? If we get the length of the value and it's just one, we can do, uh, we can have it say whatever we want right here, all right? So let's say something like this. Let's say text input val dot value. Let's just grab this. Actually, let's grab this whole thing. Now, we don't need the, the uh, quotes. So let's grab this stuff right here. Drop it off in here. Uh, for the value, let's, after the value, let's say dot length. All right. And then let's say if the length is one. All right. So if that's the case, what we're going to do here is we're not going to just return something. We're going to we're going to have to change the uh, result. All right. So we've got result here and that corresponds to the result div. So as we learned in uh, the previous sections, whenever we want to change the text of like a result or any kind of div, we just change the inner text property. of it. So we'll say something like this. We'll say result dot. Let's bring it back. One. Result dot inner text is now going to equal. And since we're going to have to put whatever's in here, uh, we'll, use a, we'll use a template literal for this. How about that? Let's put the back ticks like this. And then let's start off with an embedded expression like this. Whoops, oops, like this. And inside the embedded expression, let's put the text input dot value, right? So let's grab this right here and drop it off right here, right? So if it's the letter A, check it. See, it says A right there, but we needed to say A is a palindrome. So we'll say after the embedded expression, space is a palindrome like that. So let's check the code again. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, let's put the A in there. Check it like that. Check it. A is a palindrome. Looks like it works. All right. So let's go to the console, come down here, run the test. When the text input element contains the text I, and the check button element is clicked, the result element should contain the text I is a palindrome. All right, so it looks like we're good on that. So now we're on to user stories number six, and we'll see you next time.